Stadium, Grant Field, lots of energy yet to be released right here as it's a big mystique uh, going into this ball game. Lots of excitement, maybe some butterflies. Oh, well, quite a few are uh, on the part of everyone, from the coaches right on down to the players, to the cheerleaders, and to the band members, the whole thing. But we pick up the action here with 13-24 left in the first quarter. And we had won the toss and elected to receive and got the ball hard and then threw an interception, and then uh, our defense really rose to the occasion here. They had Big Georgia, fourth and one. Yeah, Georgia had a tremendous opportunity, and there was a sack there by Eric Thomas, and I think there the other play was uh, Jarrell Williams coming over the top along with Jeff Mathis to, to make a key play. Then we got the ball, pick it up on action uh, on our own 15, and Jerry Mays goes wide to the left for 10. And uh, we start to get some things going here right now. We run our option game, and uh, Sean is forced to pitch and gets to Jerry, and uh, he picks up another good seven or eight yards. And Sean, at this point in time, is, uh, you know, we're trying to get a good mix of run to pass, and we just see, we always go into a game thinking we've got to do both, Art, right, just to see what, you know, what's going to work for us. And came right back, and a little play action pass. Uh, Sean hits Bobby Rodriguez, and Bobby had a good day yesterday. Caught four passes, and, uh, and did a tremendous job right before the half. I thought that was an excellent play on his part, and we'll see that in a short time. Uh, Jerry to the left, and then Sean again to the right, and there's brother tackling brother. Uh, all right, that's an unusual situation, but uh, that happened three or four times during the course of the ball game. Now here's uh, Sean pitching, uh, pitching to Jerry. Our drive is stopped, uh, and uh, Georgia did a good job of defensing us and, and uh, forced us to go for the field goal, uh, but we go up three to nothing right away. And on their first play, uh, uh, Rodney Hampton, a great football player, uh, goes right, and uh, Eric Thomas gets his hat right on the football. It pops up in the air, and Kenny Wilson recovers it, and uh, we're in good position. Here's Jerry again on the slant, and we got a, a very early feeling that we could move the ball on the ground, all right, and, and uh, we'll, we'll stay to that later on. And then our goal line offense and short yardage offense, which was perfect yesterday. Boy, it was just absolutely perfect. And we were really concerned about that because Georgia had played great short yardage defense and goal line defense. Here's Hampton and uh, showing his ability. He's a great football player. I think one of the premier running backs in the country. And he goes for good yardage before being brought down by Ken Swilling. And then he shows his true abilities. I mean, we play this thing pretty well, but uh, we don't tackle, and Hampton has a lot to do with that. And they go in for a score to make it 10-7. Uh, to 7. Here's one of the funniest plays I've ever seen. Well, it, it is, because Ken Swillen makes a great play, gets his sixth interception, which ties him for the all-time uh, record with Randy Rhino uh, for a seasonal type of thing, all right? Uh, but they get it right back on the interception, and, and then they get a good sustained drive going. We helped them a little bit. We, we had a rough in the kicker call, a very good call, and uh, we had no business doing that, and it was on a fourth and ten, and it gave them second life, gave them good field position, and then... They're going to Hampton again, the, the, you know, their workhorse, and, uh, and he's giving them the yardage. A uh, great hit there by Jarrell Williams, and Ken Swilling comes in and joins along with a host of defensive linemen. And uh, we're playing pretty good at this point in time uh, defensively, but still Hampton is making some things happen, and, and uh, they're up on us by 14 to 7, or 10 now. Uh, we come back, and uh, Jerry goes for 7, picks up good yardage. Now, uh, second and three, uh, on a little counter play, and we felt like we had to keep that in the game. He gets the first down and, and goes up to there, 37. And then we come back with another play with Jerry for about another uh, five yards. He picks up seven, but our drive stalls, and we're forced to punt. And uh, 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 Jerry uh, uh, goes wide here, and we're forced to punt. Now, he goes back. We've had an exchange. Jerry goes for eight, and then... Uh, Sean on a real, he drills a clothesline in there to David Stegall, who made a fine catch, and that drive stalls, however. A credit to the Georgia defense. Scott Sisson comes out, kicks a field goal, and puts us within 14 to 13. Then another weird event uh, happened. Uh, all right, uh, we get a fumble here, uh, fumble recovery, and uh, we get good field position, and we have a chance uh, to put three points on the board, but we have two consecutive 15-yard penalties but then Sean gives us a chance with his evade ability and then hits Bobby Rodriguez. And this is the play I made reference to earlier. Bobby did a great job of getting out of bounds, giving us a chance at the field goal, but we did miss it and we went in at half trailing 14 to 13.